We live in strange times. A lone police car winds its way down an empty street on the lookout for wandering citizens, passing shuttered shop windows bearing poorly printed notices about the ever-present pandemic as it transforms our lives with each day it persists. You, sir. I really can't do that here. Uh, I'm doing TV. I'm doing TV. Thankfully, some have taken this bizarre scenario and used it as an excuse to do more than just chop out a line of Netflix or shoot up a fix of Amazon Prime. Suddenly, from the old to the young, we're reading again. And so, the tradition of book clubs has gone online, groups convening via video conference calls, sharing their love for literacy through the series of tubes that is the internet. This book is for shitheads, yeah? But what sort of titles are flourishing in the time of social distancing? Gedman Fellows of Wonder Piss Publishing shed some light. No, that one just looks weird. Well, there certainly do appear to be uh, patterns emerging from the sales we've seen. Uh, people are still very much interested in, uh, you know, people. Uh, and the first I have is a reissue of a modern classic. It's The Siege of Gary Massive uh, by Kenny Large. Uh, and it comes with a new prologue, Bulbous Thoughts, an interview with Gary Massive, which is uh, surprisingly angry about Israel. Uh, and obviously, uh, interest in medical information has uh, grown since the time of the outbreak. Uh, so next up, we have Anal Fishers, uh, The Complete Guide by Mark Scrackow. And that's done very well atop the charts. Uh, and this is the DIY edition with the extensive illustrations. Finally, of course, there's The Arts. And by far the biggest seller amongst uh, ABC ones is Oh baby, I like it raw. A complete history of raw shit from Old Dirty Bastard to Danny Brown by the inimitable Kenton Fenton. And there we go. We may be isolated, but it seems like our interests are as diverse as ever. Reading might be flourishing in the time of the coronavirus, but there's always a chance that buying new reading material may allow the virus itself to flourish. So make sure you take appropriate steps recommended by the experts. Well, indeed. Uh, do not only disinfect any goods entering your private area, but yourself as well. As can be seen in my instructional video, I am used to disinfecting myself before both entering and exiting my house. I have practiced it for years. Uh, I advise you to do the same. Whatever the case, as long as we're all careful, we can indulge all we like in rich literary worlds, escape into flights of fancy, and thrill to twisting narratives spun by the finest storytellers out there. Well, except for me, I'm off out on my quad bike to go mental in a field. This is Brian Gitt, doing donuts out in the country. 